They played us like a damn fiddle! So, about our mission from the Ceyron government... I wrote in the report that we were interrupted and were unable to complete our assignment. You mean I did? Honestly, I only did it because nobody around here bothers with the paperwork. Wow, Shiden, you're so reliable. Keep up the good work. Hey, watch it! I wonder if they're going to give us a new other suppression assignment. Karin made it seem like they would. Which reminds me... I'm curious about what Karin said in the future. It was... Why now? If you had managed to get here sooner, we could have found a way to cure the metamorphosis and turn them back to normal. Finally. I can finally save her. Piecing together Karin's statements, Kasane's power must be a clue on how to reverse metamorphosis. Major Kyoka? Where did that come from? Well, maybe not. Karin did mention that we should have arrived earlier, so... He could have copied Kasane's psychokinesis whenever he wanted, but he hasn't. If what he wants is the Red String's power, then the matter is not about finding a cure. He would take time and... Calm down, Kyoka. Huh? What's gotten into you? You almost sounded like Arashi when she's actually focused. Really? That's strange. I didn't think I was acting any differently. Trying to put all the pieces together, maybe you just fell into a trance. Whatever it was, your line of thinking was interesting. It does seem like Karin thinks Kasane is the key. Yes, she is very important to Major General Karin. There's no mistake about it. Do you think the reason I came to Seiron is because of Karin too? That's certainly a possibility. Wouldn't rule it out. What do you think he's planning? Sorry to interrupt, but Kasane Platoon has been given an other suppression assignment. There's a high probability for others appearing in the Mizuhagawa New City Development District. Head there immediately. You heard her. Let's head over and take care of this first. Then we can talk. You're right. There's no sense thinking about it now, but we should all be careful. This is the area the other report projected. Yes, our assignment is to exterminate any others that appear here. Why send us all the way out here? You would think there were other places more worth protecting. Believe it or not, this area is actually a trade route to Togetsu. Yeah, I know it may not look like much, but it's actually pretty important. Togetsu may be an isolated religious state, but apparently trades happen when interests are aligned. In other words, the extent of the relationship is strictly business. So, what does everyone want to do? Wow, did my ears just deceive me? I think Kasane just asked us for our opinion. Normally, she'd just rush out looking for others. I see. No one has any ideas. In that case, let's do what we normally do. Wait, nobody said we didn't have any ideas! Kagero, stop teasing Kasane! My bad, your highness. Don't get your panties in a bunch. My p p panties Who cares? Anyways, if you have an idea, speak up. As for ideas, I... No, we don't have any. I hacked the system to see what the transport schedule was today, but I couldn't find anything around this time. That means we can concentrate on exterminating the others. Everyone, stay vigilant and move forward. Wait! I just received a request for reinforcements. A transport team is being attacked by an other up ahead. Wow, really? Because Arashi literally just said there weren't going to be any transports now. It definitely wasn't on the schedule. If there's a transport team, it means this was off the books. The timing is too convenient. There's a chance it could be a trap. Should we wait and see first? Haruka. Is this reinforcements request coming from Seiron? Yes, it's an official OSF request. Then we have to answer. We're part of the Seiron OSF now. You're right. Besides, we can't just abandon people who need our help. Let's do what we can. Well then, time to find out what's waiting for us. Let's get this show on the road. Are you alright? Are you with Kasane Platoon? Everything should be fine now that you're here. 
Don't talk. You're wounded badly. I'll fix you up as best I can. I'm okay. But you have to help my teammates first. The truck is still under attack. It's another. But it was... human. Those Suo bastards transformed someone into an other and... <laughs> uh, transformed into another? This is a critical mission. You have to protect the truck and get it to the Supernatural Life Research Facility. <sighs> this is valuable information. Wait here for rescue. We'll take care of everything. Haruka! I've already requested a rescue team. The Supernatural Life Research Facility? Isn't that the lab Naomi was in? Let's hurry. They won't get away with turning people into others. Oh. I wasn't going to go rush off on my own again. Are we all on board? I hate to agree, but I'm all for hurrying. Thank you, Sheedan. No need for thanks. Now come on, or I'm gonna leave you behind. Kasane is finally showing her vulnerable side. Or maybe she's just expanded her horizons. <laughs> I'm so happy we're all getting along. Now, let's go help the transport team. Check this out. That's not a normal transport truck. That must be the truck. I don't see any members of the transport team. Hey, look, by the truck bed. There's someone there. They're hitting it with a stick or something. This is a damn sturdy door. Can't even hack it. Just break it down already. My arms are getting tired. Is that Kodama? What are you doing? Well, if it isn't the traitors. How have you been? Hmm? Why do you look so scared? Kodama, did you turn someone into an other and make them attack this transport team? I mean, this was headed for the Seiron Research Facility. I figured it had to have something important. You're trying to find out what they're researching by digging through their cargo? I swear, your methods are insane. It's the fastest way. So anyway, can you let me go just this once? Pretty please? Yeah, I don't think so. That's too bad. Well, I guess we're doing this. Don't get mad at me when I kill you! This'll be fun! Help me, Shiden! Go oh, corner it! This is what I see! Turning people into others! How could you do something so awful? No, oh, don't get so angry. I meant well. This is what I see. You got this. This could be bad. <laughs> Is this a transformation ability? There's no sign of her using SAS. <laughs> Were you surprised by Master Kodama's secret? I never showed anyone before. Oh well, it doesn't matter since you're all dying here anyway. Take them out quick. Can you take it? 
Kudama use a second power? Impossible. The only person who can use multiple powers is Major General Karin, the Brain Eater. What does that mean? Damn. That's really fishy. A nice round of applause. Kodama, throw down your weapon and don't make any sudden movements. We have a lot of questions for you. Well, you do have me surrounded. I don't think I'm getting out of this one. Just kidding. What? You expected I wouldn't have a plan? What? <laughs> bye bye now. Looks like she got away. At least the truck seems fine. Do you want to escort it back to the facility then? Hmm. It did seem like it was an important mission from what the transport team member said. Maybe we should. Then I'll contact the superiors about the suppression assignment. Wait. I'm getting a reading nearby. It's not the Seiron OSF. It could be more of Kodama's men. Well, we obviously don't want anyone following the truck. So I'll go check it out and stop them here if it comes to that. Oh, I'm definitely tagging along, Major Kyoka. If it's an ambush, then I'm just the man for the job. It's my specialty. Arashi, please get this truck back to the Supernatural Life Research Facility. And it's go time. Good luck, kids. Weren't we supposed to discuss things first? Let it go. Anyway, we'll leave that to Kyoka and Kagero. We have a truck to transport. Does it still run? Sure does. It's got a few scrapes, but nothing serious. The truck bed's reinforced armor is full of dents. And Kodama did all this with just a metal pipe. Unbelievable. It's just stupid how incredibly strong she is. Hmm. Where have you been? Hurry up and unload the truck. I need to go get the lab ready. Great, now they're making us do manual labor too? This is turning out to be more of a pain than I thought. Haruka, any word from Kyoka or Kagero? Not yet. It's hard to get a good signal to Mizu Hagawa. I think it's because of the extinction belt above. I see. Then let's get this over with. Can you all hear me? Great, you're all right. What about Kagero? You know me. I normally say I'm ship shape, but we've actually found ourselves in a tight spot. It wasn't Kodama's men in Mizu Hagawa. It was Yuito Platoon, and they noticed the truck. Yuito Platoon? Did you two... Yes. We couldn't have anyone following the truck. So we did what we had to do, which was fight them. It was only to buy some time, though. Then we used Major Kyoka's duplication and my invisibility to lose them. Which is how the story would go in a perfect world, but they've got Sugumi's eyes on their side. 
Ah, her clairvoyance. We can't let our guards down. We'll try to rendezvous back with you after we throw them off our trail. You should still be careful, though. Copy that. Contact us if anything happens. Sorry, guys. Due to the extinction belt, I can't track Yuito Platoon. Well, there's nothing we can really do about that. We just have to finish this annoying work first. We managed to get one truck unloaded. They all look like the same boxes. Huh. <sighs> Shiden, what's wrong? Are you tired? What? No, I'm not tired. I was just curious what this cargo was. That's it. Damn! What are you doing? You can't unlock private cargo just because you're curious. No! It just unlocked on its own. <sighs> what is it? Did you find an other inside or something? Look. Hmm? What is it? Th this is... A human... head? This one too. All of these cases. They're filled with heads. What are they going to use them for? Wait... Food? Naomi said she takes the medication in the ampules. These are probably used to research the other weapons. Or maybe... No, I shouldn't be tossing around any theories at this point. So, basically, these human heads are being transported from Togetsu? That researcher mentioned getting the lab ready. We might be able to find something if we search the facility. We're not done unloading the truck, but I can't stop thinking about this. Let's go check out where he went. It'll be bad if Yuito finds this location. Will we have to fight them too? We don't have a choice. Hopefully Kyuka handles it so we don't have to do that. I really do hate this place. The stench is just awful. I was right. It can't be. Oh, it definitely is. Others feed on human brains, and this facility houses others, and... Ampules! How could... these ampules... but that means Naomi... Intruders were just detected coming in from the facility's rear entrance. I've also received an update on our assignment from Seiron. The intruders are Yuito Sumeragi and new Himuka OSF members, and we are to eliminate them, no matter what. Damn it! Of course they'd come now! Seems like Seiron really wants Yuito dead. They must be desperate to eliminate the threat the Kunad Gate poses. Eliminate them. What are you going to do, Kasane? We should kill him. To save the world. But I know I haven't been listening to anyone else. So maybe Yuito wants to talk to me, like all of you did. Wait, one more thing. If we refuse this assignment, they said they would dispose of the research subjects in order to bury the evidence. <sighs> so they're taking Naomi as a hostage. Yeah. And knowing that Naomi is your one soft spot, I probably would have done the same if I were them. But can they really do that? She's still an important research subject to them. And there's no way Major General Karin would let them. He didn't want Yuito to be assassinated. That may be true, but that still doesn't prove that Karin would protect Naomi. Although I can't picture him treating human-born others like mere objects either. However, this assignment came to us officially, which means there's a chance it came with Karin's approval. They could also be bluffing. What's important isn't whether or not they're bluffing. It's how certain we are they won't harm Naomi. That's... And it doesn't help that we've already failed one assassination attempt. This response seems natural if they suspect we have ulterior motives. It's not like we can break Naomi out and take her with us. Does that mean we have no other choice but to fight Yuito? Hmm. Let's hide. 
Are you serious? Naomi is in danger. I know, but fighting them out in the open wouldn't be smart. We should hide in the next area and ambush them. That would give us an excuse to leave here and would buy us some time to think. Haruka, report our plan to them. We'll lie in wait for the intruders and stand by for an opportunity to attack. Copy that. Good luck. Yuito Platoon is headed to the factory block as predicted. They will arrive in 30 seconds. We've been ordered to send the control system data to Seiron after we make contact with Yuito. In other words, they'll be monitoring your conversation. Be careful. Understood. Yuito Platoon arriving in 5, 4, 3, What is this facility? It looks like some sort of assembly line. Hey, those boxes. Aren't they the same ones from that transport truck we saw? <laughs> what is it, Sugumi? Does it contain what I brought earlier? A human head. You've got to be kidding me. All of these? What in the world is this place? What do you want to do? Have you gotten your thoughts together yet? There are no thoughts to get together. I don't have a choice. It's only an issue of resolve. So, we have to fight. That's our assignment. Besides, if we let Yuito leave now, the public will find out about this place. And the ampules. Then they might stop all the research. What would become of Naomi if that happened? Either way, our only choice is to kill Yuito. Have you thought about what the ampules contain? Of course I have. But to be honest, just thinking about it won't solve anything. Well, we have your answer. Just listen to yourself. We should just tell them everything. Yuito will understand. He's way too forgiving. We should take advantage of that. And then what? That would mean going against Seiron. If you have a way to save Naomi, then tell me. I never said. Okay, calm down, you two. What about fighting to a draw? We can just tell Seiron that we had to be careful we didn't damage this very important facility. Or something along those lines. Knowing the strength of Yuito Platoon, we should be able to convince the government that we tried our best, but couldn't beat them. However, they would get suspicious if they completely overpowered us. We'll have to fight like we mean it. This is the best idea I've got. I can go along with that. That's fine with me too. Guys, you need to make contact with Yuito Platoon soon. Let's go. Seiron will start to get suspicious if we wait any longer. Those ampules! I think... I'm going to be sick. This can't be real, right? Those were made by Spring Pharmaceuticals. <sighs> Damn it! Looks like Kyoka couldn't lose you. What is this? I think you've already figured it out. This is Spring Pharmaceutical's Seiron factory. To be more accurate, it's an other research facility they run jointly with the Seiron government. They're using these heads to make their products. <sighs> Shiden, stay calm. Just concentrate on stopping Yuito. Wait! Let's talk! Hey! First you won't tell me why you're trying to kill me. Now you're trying to hide this cool place? Don't you feel anything seeing what's going on here? What are you all thinking? I thought you were amazing since you were a cadet, Kasane. But now you're trying to kill Yuito and trying to hide this facility? What happened to you? This isn't like you. 
I don't have a choice. It's close. Take care of it now. Shut up. You don't know anything about anything. Then tell us. We don't know anything because you won't tell us anything. Leave nothing. Please arrest me. Drugs out of human heads is crazy. We have to stop them. But Naomi, she needs this. What do you mean? What is this facility for? That's. You are not authorized to divulge any more information. Are you the government official from before? I'm sorry, I was ordered to patch him through. Please focus on eliminating the target. We promise you fair compensation for your efforts. By compensation, you do mean Naomi's safety, correct? I want a clear answer that'll stay on the OSF transmission record. Uh, well... Why aren't you answering? My bet is because you made this call on your own, without Major General Karin's permission. There has been a change in plans. I am canceling your assignment. Await your next orders. 
Communication with Ceyron has been disconnected. We're not being monitored anymore. I can't take this anymore. I'm telling them everything. No, I will. This place is an other research facility run jointly with Spring Pharmaceuticals, just like Arashi said. Human brains of people with powers are being brought here. A portion of them are transplanted into others to turn them into other weapons. The rest are turned into a medical solution to feed the others. That's horrible. Hey, are you really sure about Ceyron? I know New Himuka has a lot of its own issues. It's not right that the government monitors everyone and controls all the information. But Ceyron causing the uprising, that's just as messed up. Can we really let them get away with transplanting human brains into others or processing the brains into drugs? No, we can't, obviously. That being said, there are in fact some people who've been forced to accept it. Like my brother. And then there's Kasane. People whose loved ones have been turned into others. They depend on that medication. Human-born others can temporarily regain their senses when they take that medication. Even letting them talk. Does Karin have a family member that's been metamorphosed? No, not a family member. Has Luca or Fabuki mentioned it? Alice? Yuito! His brain is... Yuito! Yuito? Are you okay? What's wrong? You look like you're in pain. There's something wrong with Yuito's brain. He's beginning to show signs of speech and memory impairment whenever he uses his power. I'm okay now. The pain is fading. Sorry to interrupt, but you need to leave now so we can call this a draw. Hurry up or the others will come. We should leave too. That okay with you, Kasane? Yes. I'm sorry. I heard from Haruka. It seems like a lot happened while we were gone. If Yuito and his team left, shouldn't we be checking on a certain someone? That's right. Naomi! I'm coming, Naomi! Naomi! Great. We'll go check and see how Naomi's doing. What about you guys? Where are you? We're close by, so let's meet up at Naomi's room. This is the first I've heard there was a communications log. Very observant. That was just a bluff. Luckily, it fooled them. that drugs and the ampules were made from human brains. So, you found out. I heard a researcher. She said that Yuito and his team saw the heads. Calm down, Naomi. I can't do this anymore. If I had known it came from human brains, I would have told them no. It's a cruel reality. But without these drugs, it wouldn't be possible to talk with you like this. Yes, I know. It's not true. You're still you. Thank you. But I have to 
to be honest, this is too much for me. I can't do it. I don't want to live if it means other people have to die. Wait, I'll find a way to turn you back, so please don't give up. I'm sorry. Please, I need to be alone. Naomi. You undisciplined rats. I know you can hear me. Get out of Naomi's room now. Major General Karin, you're here at the facility? I'll tell you about the research they do here. Now get out of there so Naomi can calm down. Let's go. I'll be back, Naomi. I'm sorry, Kasane. So, Ceyron isn't as unified as I had thought. First, I think you owe us rats an apology for stringing us along through all this. Who owes who now? Huh? I don't care about an apology. Have you found a way to turn Naomi back? If she stays here, she's... Not yet. I'll keep Naomi's psychological well-being in mind, but this facility is the best chance she has. Even if we manage to pacify Naomi, she'll have to continue taking the ampules. He'll be able to do it. Why is Ceyron conducting research like this? What are they planning on doing to others using human brains? I suppose I should tell you what Ceyron and Suo's true motives are. It all comes down to how each city views others and the Extinction Belt. The Extinction Belt? Suo wants to eliminate the Extinction Belt to stop the others. While Ceyron believes they need the Extinction Belt. The differing views of the Extinction Belt is the root of Suo and Ceyron's conflict. I might not agree with their methods, but I can understand Suo's position. Ceyron, on the other hand... Why do they think the Extinction Belt is necessary? That's where the others come from. Ceyron is pursuing their counter-other research while avoiding the elimination of the Extinction Belt. Kagero, what do you think would happen if the Extinction Belt disappeared? Um, no idea. Why are you asking me? Never mind. In any case, I don't care about what either side wants. More importantly, Kasane. What? What you did here was reckless. I only did what I could for Naomi. Seiron's threats aren't just a bargaining strategy. Watch what you leak to Yuito, and be careful you don't do anything that would put Naomi in danger. <sighs> <sighs> That's all for now. No, we're not done here. We still have questions. Remember your roles. That will help Naomi more than anything. He looked like he was in a hurry. I wonder if something happened. It's painstakingly obvious that Karin is still hiding information from us. Listen, we've just been through a lot. I think we should go back to the hideout and get some rest. Yes. Hold on, Naomi. I promise I'm going to save you. Welcome back, everyone. You've come here as well. I was afraid I might run into that government official if I went back to headquarters. I'm sorry. Forcing the guy's hand by threatening to put him on the record must have put you in an awkward position. His face was beet red. It was hilarious. If I saw him in person, I would have laughed right in his face. Oh, I would have loved to see that. That bastard totally deserves it. I can't leave Naomi there. I have to hurry and find a way to turn her back. Can I really rely on Karin? You don't look so well. Hey, you better not be thinking about running off on your own to save the day again. No, don't worry. I'm not. Karin mentioned that my power was connected in some way to saving my sister. He did mention that, didn't he? Sure didn't make an effort or even care to explain himself, though. 
I thought with everything that happened at the other research facility, Naomi would be protected if I asked him. But now, I'm not so sure. There's still so much I don't know. That's true. But to be honest, we barely know anything about the others. That laboratory holding Naomi has the most advanced research on them. So, there's something I've been wondering about that place. You know that truck that you escorted? Wasn't it from Togetsu? Yes. While there were no records, judging from its route, there's no mistake it came from Togetsu. Considering the cargo it was carrying, I feel like Togetsu must be connected to the other research somehow. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Togetsu is not that kind of place. All right. You're from there and you follow their faith. It's a religious community that worships the moon. I've never even heard them say anything about others. But with all that cargo they're providing, they must be connected in some way or another. Togetsu has a long history and managed to establish a different culture from Suo or Seiron. That alone sets it apart. I think it's safe to assume that they have information that would prove useful to us. I've never actually considered Togetsu before. But you might be onto something, given the situation. We might find a clue there that will help Naomi. You're really going there? You won't find much. I can honestly say I don't know of any place less exciting. What do you want to do? Let's go to Togetsu. For real? Weren't you even listening? Karin told us not to do anything that had upset Seiron. But I don't fully trust him. If we don't know what he knows or what he's hiding, then we don't have a choice. Then what about Naomi? It might not be a bluff next time. Haruka, I have a favor to ask. I'll keep an eye on Seiron and the research facility, and contact you if there's any change. Thank you. I owe you one. Well, let's get ready to go to Togetsu. Oh boy. I don't like the way this is going. It might be good to talk to Arashi. Hey, Kagura. What debt was Major General Karin talking about? I don't know. Maybe he was mistaken. Or he was bluffing. I see. Someone important to Major General Karin metamorphosed, too. That's what you told Yuito. Yuito said a name. What was it? Well, it's a bit of a sensitive topic, to say the least. Sorry, but can we talk about it later? I'll talk if necessary, but I don't feel like it right now. I think Suo and Seiron are both hiding something. Karin's true motives are still a mystery. I wonder what he's after. All we can do is keep moving and watch them. Man, this is going to be such a pain. Hey, Kasane. We're supposed to calm down civilians, you know, flash them a smile. Honestly, you suck at that. You're right, but so do you. <laughs> <laughs> Screw this dumb article. What do they know?
Kagura, why are you so against going to Togetsu? It's where you're from. You're not popular, so you wouldn't understand. But I have a lot to worry about. Oh, being popular is hard. Sorry for not being popular. The online shop sold out of my favorite soda. What's a girl supposed to do? If you look around a bit, I'm sure you could find it in town. You want me to go all that way and have to carry back something that heavy? Don't think so.